I'm Jeff Surratt. I am the pastor of ministries at Seacoast Church located in Charleston, South Carolina. We are a multi-site church and we have campuses in South Carolina, North Carolina, and Georgia. I'm excited about the opportunity to spend nine minutes with you. And when I got the assignment that said I could talk about anything I wanted to, my first instinct was to talk about the superiority of the Cardinals over the Cubs. But over the last few days and weeks, that has kind of become a moot point. So I thought instead what we would talk about is how you can be on staff at a church and maintain your faith in Christ. Now, I know that seems like kind of an odd uh, way to start, but the reality is in 27 years of ministry, I have seen people who have started strong on staff at a church, and I've seen them shipwreck their faith. And I don't want to see that happen to you. I'm reminded of a lady that was on staff when I first came to Seacoast 13 years ago. She had committed her life to Christ at Seacoast. She was serving in children's ministry. She also served in women's ministry. She led small groups. She was a committed Christ follower. But over the following years, she eventually moved off of staff, and then she quit coming to the church. And last I heard, she wasn't even practicing her faith. And so my question is, how do you go from being a committed Christ follower, serving on staff at a church, to a point where you don't even go to church? Well, I think you can lose track of the basics. And so what I want to talk to you for the few minutes that we have together are the basics of serving on staff and keeping your faith strong. And where I want to start is at home. The first thing you need to do to keep your faith strong is to take care of your family. You see, ministry can destroy a family. A lot of times, we don't practice what we preach. I know early on in my ministry, I would talk to husbands about putting their wife number one and taking time for their family. And at the same time, I was pouring all of my heart, my soul, my mind into the ministry. Ministry can be 24-7, and the truth is, is we love what we do. For my wife and I, we had to come to a point where we declared ministry-free zones. We said, you know what, we're going to go out on this date, or when we're in this location, we're not going to talk about Seacoast Church at all. And at any time, either one of us can call a timeout in the conversation and say, hey, that sounds like Seacoast. You need ministry-free zones. You need to take care of your family if you want to keep your faith strong while working at a church. Second thing you need to do is you need to go to church. You know, that sounds kind of odd, but I have known a lot of staff members that get so wrapped up in serving and in working, and they work in children's ministry, or they work in youth ministry, or on a worship team. And they wind up working during every single service on the weekend. And they never sit and worship with their family. They never sit and listen to the weekend message. You know, we all need that. We need to find a time on a weekly basis when we are fed. So you, you need to go to church. Third thing you need to do to keep your faith strong while working at a church is you need to be in a small group. I, mean, I don't know if your church calls them small groups or cell groups or, or maybe they call them home groups. Whatever it is. All of us need a group of believers around us who are building our faith and holding us accountable. You know, I have a group of guys in my life. We meet every Saturday morning at 8 o'clock. And they, I'm not Pastor Jeff. I'm not the church staff member. I'm just Jeff. And they help me with my faith. They hold me accountable. They beat me up when I need it. They encourage me when I need it. If you're on a staff at a church, you need to be in a small group. The fourth thing you need to do is you need to you need to prioritize personal worship. You know, we, we, we become professional worshipers. We, we put on worship for other people. But are we worshiping ourselves? How are you connecting to God one-on-one, -on -one, away from your church? Maybe it's through music. Maybe it's through nature. Maybe it's through reading. But are you worshiping God on a daily basis, personally? The fifth thing that we need to do so that we don't shipwreck our faith while we're on staff at a church is we need to be growing in our faith. What are you doing to grow in your faith? What are you reading that's not preparation for a sermon or for a lesson or for a leadership retreat? What is, where is God stretching you? How is your faith continuing to grow while you are serving at church? Another thing you need to do, a sixth thing that you can do, is you need to give generously. You know, I just read a, a, a message that a pastor gave his staff that said, you know what, if you're not supporting the ministry, if you're not drinking the Kool-Aid, if you're not giving generously of your tithe, I need your resignation. He said, how could we lay off other staff who are giving when we have staff that aren't? All of us need to be a part of the same team. All of us need to be giving generously. 
generous giving defeats selfishness in our own lives. So all of us need a part of that in our lives. The seventh thing we need to do is we all need to be serving on a mission. What are you doing that's completely outside yourself? What are you doing that doesn't have anything to do with building your own church or building your own ministry? What are you doing to reach a people group or a, or a community that desperately needs to hear about Jesus? We should all be on a mission, a mission outside of our primary ministry. And that's kind of what I, I want to talk about in the eighth thing. The eighth thing that we need to do is we all need to volunteer. We all need to give away our time. We become so professional in the ministry that we lose touch with what it means to work a nine-to-five job, to work five days a week, six days a week, and then beyond that, come and volunteer at the church. What are you doing to volunteer outside of your area of ministry? Maybe you could go serve in the nursery. Maybe you could work in the parking lot. Maybe you could, could offer to do follow-up contacts for another ministry at your church. It does wonders for each of us if we're volunteer for giving away our time to help our church. The ninth thing that we need to do, if you work at a church with more than one staff, you're going to have to forgive the other person at some point. Someone's going to let you down. Someone's going to promise to do something they're not going to follow through. Somebody's going to say something in a way that is hurtful to you. You're, you're going to not get the credit for a project that you worked so hard on. We need to forgive very quickly, as quickly as we can. You know, people are going to hurt us. The pastor is going to say things that, 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 that are hurtful sometimes. The, the problem with working on staff at a church is every church I've ever worked at has an imperfect staff. One church I think I went to, it was perfect until I got there, and then I messed up the whole thing. The problem is we work with humans, and any time we work with humans, we're going to rub up against each other, and we're going to need to forgive. So let me encourage you. Forgive today. Forgive right now. While you're watching the nines, even in this nine-minute message, just decide, you know what? I'm going to forgive. I'm, I'm going to forget about it. And then the tenth thing you need to do, if you want to keep your faith strong while you work on staff at a church, you just need to believe the best about your other staff members. Believe the best about the pastor. Believe the best about the youth pastor and the children's director and the, the women's director and, and whatever other staff you have at your church. You know what? The student ministry doesn't mean to mess up the building. The children's ministry doesn't, do, pardon me, doesn't mean to, to, to always take all the volunteers. The worship ministry doesn't, doesn't mean to, to absorb more than their fair share of the budget. Well, well, maybe the worship ministry does mean to do that. Actually, the reality is, is everyone on staff at your church is just trying to do everything they can to reach as many people as they can for Jesus. So believe the best. Tell you what, those are very basic things, but those 10 things I repeat in my life, and that's how I keep my faith strong while I work on staff at the church. Thanks for your nine minutes.